have a good day. Sponsored by Sunday Science with LA Beast. Oh, hello, LA Beast here, and happy Sunday as I welcome you to Sunday Science with me, the LA Beast. And I've decided to use my brand new science experiment book. But I think this was actually published back in 1981. Uh, and as I was like randomly scrolling through, picking out random experiments, here today, uh, what these experiments are based on is in fact, coins. Uh, I, like I didn't plan it, I was like, oh, this one looks interesting. Oh, this one looks interesting. Uh, and it all involves coins. So with that said, uh, let's get started. Sunday Science with the LA Beast Coin Edition. First experiment is called, and the coin is still there. Uh, the science involved is inertia. Uh, and all I do is, is I, I balance this square cardboard on my finger. Uh, I will place a heavy coin on top. Uh, and then if I just, just flick the cardboard, uh, apparently, boom, uh, the coin will be balancing on my finger. And, and, and that's what inertia is. So I have a camera rolling above so we can get an, uh, an above angle. And let's just, let's just, let's just get started and see if this actually can work on the first try. If this works on the first try, I'd be, I'd be very amazed. Okay, that didn't work. We'll switch to a, we'll switch to a heavier coin. See if that has anything to do with it. All right, using a ruler, I just I follow the directions uh, and I made a five by five square. Uh, and once you get it balanced, I'm using a fairly large coin like it says, uh, you have to like flick the side of the cardboard like this. So, you know what, science is, science is frustrating, but if you don't give up on science, science will not give up on you. FBI Explorers, baby. Woo! Science rules. Science is frustrating. Yeah! I can definitely say that inertia is frustrating. But this next experiment, it's called the Freely Suspended Coin. And it reads, Now there are problems that can only be solved by those who have been let in on the secret. That one such is the problem of how to attach a small coin to a vertical wooden surface without resorting to any kind of adhesive or mechanical device. And looking at this picture, it looks kind of creepy with the, the guy's fingernails there, but all I'm going to do apparently, I'm an expert, I'm going to pick up the coin with the tips of my fingers, rub the coin energetically against the surface of the wood, and then I'm gonna push on the coin and voila, it's gonna stick to the wood vertically without falling down. Now, and in the picture, uh, they actually have a coin from 1880 uh, in an honor of my great grandmother, I do actually have an Indian headset. I'm gonna take it right out here. I have, I have this, this Indian headset from 1880, uh, and I'm, I'm gonna magically. Uh, this house is built over 100 years ago, and I'm gonna make this coin stick to the wood uh, in this old house. Here we, here we go. I have a real 1880 Indian headset. Not quite sure how rare this is, um, but all you do, you just like rub it against. The wooden surface, like press on it and presto change it, it apparently sticks to the wood. Um, I don't know how rare or valuable these are. There's no adhesive, there's no like stickiness, glue, or anything like that. Uh, let's see if I can let's see if I can pull this off. Questionable, questionable at best. You like rub it against the wood. Oh, voila. Okay, that okay, great. It didn't work. You rub it against the surface. I'm, to I'm totally ruining a coin from the 1880s. Okay. Rub it against the surface. 
Huh. Well, would you look at that? I, I, I replicated the exact page from the book. That's pretty crazy. Uh, you know what? I, I did not replicate the exact page in the book just quite yet. The zoom is just a little bit slow. That's a, that's a coin from the 1880s, and if I just put my creepy fingers, put my creepy fingers in there. Ah, now, now, now I replicated the page from the book. Cool. Give myself cool. Uh, and, and we're gonna go back to the other camera and we're gonna find out why. Why that's doing that. Interesting. Uh, creepy fingers uh. and then yeah it's just like boom off it goes here's the answer in our little scientific game that we just did uh, the imprint on the coin prevents such close contact instead with the friction and the sudden pressure we have applied when I pushed on the coin heat almost totally displaces the air between its markings with the result that the outside air now exerts enough pressure on the coin to make it stick to the wall. If this experiment should not succeed at first attempt, and that's why that happened. Next, now this next experiment is not actually in the book that I just got, but it's a it's a science that involves your teeth. Now, like there's baby teeth. George Washington had wooden teeth, um, and, and like depending on what kind of human being you are there's different kinds of teeth uh, and all you need actually is a glass full of quarters uh, when you like spread the quarters out on the table um, if just for example you, you can do this uh, I have type A teeth and you can go like this which is pretty cool. Uh, exactly, it's a, like what my teeth are uh, type A uh, and you know what, everything I just said is complete absolute bullshit. Why? Uh, because this is a, a magic quarter. Uh, I had to like do this 80 times in a row, but like the I, don't, I think back in 2000, the year 2000 on TLC, David Blaine did a magic special, The Magician. Uh, and all this really is, it's just a magic quarter uh, using rubber bands. As, as you can see, I'll, I'll show a close up in the corner, like it bends. Uh, so like you, you, you pretend, pretend to take a bite, but you're holding uh, with your thumb the back piece. Now when you go, like you, you can blow it back on. So it's like, Oh, I have special teeth. <sighs> there you have it. Uh, this is just a simple magic trick involving a sweet, simple quarter that's not real. All right, it's the next day. Uh, and on the next day, I wear my lucky Notre Dame shirt because I saved the two hardest experiments for last. Uh, and this one is called the runaway coin, uh, where like I have this this little silver silver dime. I have a champagne flute. I just put it in there. I'm gonna take this larger dollar coin. I'm gonna place it in the champagne flute. As you can see, it's kind of like a lid. Uh, and if you can believe it, I'm going to somehow I'm going to somehow get the dime out of the champagne flute without touching the coin, and it's it's gonna somehow happen. Uh, and I actually I have uh, my rec specs. Rec, rec specs are a great eye protection when playing sports in the 1990s. And just protect my, to protect my eyes, I have my rec specs. Uh, and I'm going to get the dime out of the glass, not only without touching it, but without touching the silver dollar coin on top of it as well.
Right, the way that I got that dime out of the glass, hopefully without touching anything there, was by the downward turning part of the coin exerts pressure on the air under the lower coin, which becomes so compressed both as a result and because of the blowing that the smaller coin is hurled in an arc out of the glass. Then the larger coin reverts to its horizontal position uh, and the lid is shut again, as you can see right there. You know what, I have trouble reading. There's actually uh, workers upstairs. I'm gonna be moving my office up into the attic. Now, so they're, they're, if you hear any noise, it's the workers upstairs getting it done. Uh, I had to hang up my science jacket. Um, and this is called from elbow to hand. Uh, and I have a, a fistful of quarters. And I'm going to stack those quarters right on my elbow, but somehow, uh, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna catch them. Uh, and it says, all right, there's physical laws involved with this. Through the sudden forward movement of the arm, the coins are flung forward in an arc. The hand, too, creates an arc, though a larger one at greater speed. The two arcs intersect, and if at some practice uh, we manage to make the, the hand traverse its arc in the same time as the coin traverses on its own, the coin will automatic, automatically end, end up in the hand, and we'll have to do is hold it. I'll just, whatever the photo was that explained what it is, you can just read it there. You gotta just balance the coins the best that you can. Forget that they're even there. Boom. Yeah, this is the LA beast. Science rules, you rule, and so does O'Doyle. Um, and shout out to the construction guys upstairs who are busting their ass uh, to make the attic look great uh, as it's gonna be my new office uh, next couple weeks. Happy Sunday, you're awesome, stay tuned. Now I have my next video ready to go, uh, which is not involving science, so stay tuned, appreciate you. Happy Sunday. Have a good day.